Author, mom, business owner, her name is Nayibe Reynoso, and she says all it took was for her to discover the need for more books about Latinos to put her passion on paper. Whether you're from a tropical island or the mountains of Peru, you are amazing, brilliant, and terrific just for being you. Proud of her fifth children's book and a proud Mexican-American, Naive Reynoso says this time the pages feature Latinas who've made a difference throughout the globe. It's called Courageous History Makers, 11 Women from Latin America Who Changed the World. As you know, in the United States, we have yet to see a female president, but in Latin America, there have been many female presidents. So I wanted little girls to see a Latina female president. So that's why I chose Laura Chinchilla, former president of Costa Rica. Reynoso says her books are created to be game changers. She wants her young readers to finish feeling empowered, while at the same time, she hopes to change the landscape and perceptions of Latinos. That's why she founded Contodo Press in 2018, a children's book publishing company. There was a recent study by the Cooperative Children's Book Center that said only about 5.5% of children's books feature Latino characters as their main character. We represent almost 18% of the United States population. As you could see, that gap is very, very wide. We see Latinos as, as maids, we see them as farm workers, and there's nothing wrong with that. Those are careers that are very uh, amazing and that they're needed in this country. But Latinos are also Supreme Court justices. We are also politicians. We're artists. You have it in English, but then it translates into Spanish. And I think that's so important because young kids can also learn Spanish at the same time as they're learning about some of these figures. This book is meant to also be shared and read by intergenerational families. So I want grandma that maybe doesn't speak English or read English to be able to read it to her grandchild. Um, so that's, you know, those are some of the reasons why I decided to have it bilingual. Reynoso adds dual language schools are increasing. The Spanish language is one of the most widely spoken in the world. And most importantly, she says she wants kids to not fear speaking it since they too can one day change the world. <laughs> The last hero and the last trailblazer is the reader. I want this book not to be something that they read and they forget about. I want it to be a call to action for them. A call to action. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love it how she's like, I don't want them to just read it and nope. throw it out. This nope. is like, this is supposed to be a game changer. So listen, when Naiba is not writing books or being a mom, she is also a journalist. So in many aspects of her life, she says she works to advance her mission of empowering and continuing to inspire, not just during Women's History Month, but always. If you're interested in getting one of these books, remember I told you this is her fifth book. So here's look a look at, at some all. of the other ones. Yeah, how to it's all the taco. Part yeah. of a series, uh, Amazon and Barnes and Nobles is where you can find them. You know, it is so important to see ourselves reflected in the books we read and as far back as even oh my goodness really do you see yourself oh see that's that's so beautiful, the image of the mirror. Mm -hmm. Not only is it beautiful, but I felt even after this interview and after I myself was reading the book, I felt inspired. So I think yeah. that, like she said, um, whether it's a parent or a grandparent that's reading this book, I think there's a message for everybody. Well, and, and I, absolutely, mm -hmm. it is, and it's not just for Latinos as well. Think no. about, we talk about the importance of allyship, mm -hmm. right? So for other people of, of different cultures who want to get an idea of it and introduce their own kids to understanding this global world yeah. that we live in. I well, love it. Yeah, and, and she talked about it too. You know, any child that picks up this book, maybe they haven't been exposed to Spanish yet. Now they will. Yeah, how they fun is that? They have the tool here to start to, start to learn.